First of all, I'm very impressed by the participation of this Congress. It seems now that it's, uh, uh, Marxism is coming back again as a reaction of 20 years to its neoliberal offensive and also this financial crisis now. So this is a very good sign, I think. The, the welfare state was, was constructed because they were able to, to regulate the economy. Uh, in the post-war period, they have, there were capital control, there was strict regulation of financial capitals and all these kind of things. And that was a precondition for the construction of the welfare state. So when that was, that was abolished in the 80s and 90s, that, uh, that took away, in, in a way, the, the power basis which made the welfare state possible. So what we see today is the, it's the re deconstruction of the welfare state. Uh, because uh, uh, capital uh, forces have got the upper hand in, in, in social development, so they can threat by maybe the capital flight if they don't like the tax policy, for example. So they they create a sort of a tax competition between countries that have to cut budgets and so on. So that undermines gradually the the welfare state and also the the uh, financial capital, the enormous pressure to uh, privatize public services in order to open new areas for profit uh, uh, production in a way. That creates also enormous pressure on the welfare state. So I do not see the possibility to, 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 uh, to continue with the welfare state as we knew it. There was a British conservative that said that the social policy is the best antidote to socialism. That means to me that that was a quite a conscious policy from the, from the bourgeoisie uh, when they went into this, this uh, class compromise because this was a class, class compromise between labor and capital that led the foundation for the welfare state. And they did that in order to dampen the radicalism of the, of the labor movement and to win time. So what we have seen from the 1980s is that they, they are much more secure uh, about their own power now, so they attack what they earlier uh, accepted as part of this compromise. The labor movement is in a crisis, both an ideological crisis, political crisis, and a crisis of power also. So uh, we have to mobilize and to rebuild and to uh, reconstruct the, the labor movement, the trade unions and the political organizations in order to be able to to, to hit back again. The, the precondition for building the welfare state was that it was a long period of confrontations in which the labor movement uh, gained ground gradually. And that is the way to do it again. It has to be mobilization from below. It has to be a more, uh, more um, uh, ambitious uh, goals. It, is, it doesn't make any sense today to, to ask for the reconstruction of the welfare state because the welfare state was the result of a very, very specific historic situation. So what we have to do now is to, to uh, get democratic control of the economy. That is the most important thing, I think, including have a new discussion of the question of ownership. And the ownership of the means of production has to be democratized, I think. It's a complete reconstruction of the working class and also capitalist production at the global level which is going on and that represent enormous challenges to the trade unions. But I think it's possible because uh, uh, even if people are made precarious and all that, there is a drive among people in order to defend and improve the living conditions and living standards. The, the problem I think today is that the, the old-fashioned trade unions, the old-fashioned organizations are not up to it. We have to construct new, new movements, new organizations that face the new situation. And that is sort of a transition that we have to go through.